feel like you're a little, a little out of frame. Welcome back to the Caleb Marshall channel. Haven't done one of these videos in a while because I haven't felt like it. Uh, we just got back from Paris and Italy, as you know, and so we just finished watching the Linda and Drew Say I Do special. If you don't know, we, me, Bria, Cameron, and Haley were all in Italy at the wedding, watching it in person, feeling all the emotion, shedding tears, eating the food, drinking the wine. Send me back to America, but you can't make me leave my Aperol spritz. Oh wait, we've never done one of these on my channel, so I get to call it something new. Oh, what's creative, Caleb? Be creative. I'm cooking in the kitchen with Caleb. Yeah, ah. that was literally my idea literally three years ago. Yes, but you don't have proof of that. <laughs> yes, and, I'm gonna, I'm, and I'm gonna no. cut it out when you just said that, so <laughs> yes, my idea, I do. my idea. We're gonna make an Italian-inspired dish, um, which is pizza. We're gonna make my take on pizza. Your take. I knew you were gonna say that, so I'm gonna Your give it. Your take. So Haley loosely gave me a recipe, and then I changed it to make it more my own and taste better. I can't even believe this is happening right now. So this is a <laughs> vegan pizza with chicken. <laughs> that, that we're gonna make today. Yeah. And we're gonna make it my style. Cause my pizza tastes different than yours. Well I use I use real ingredients like butternut squash and like kale and stuff. So you didn't put kale on your pizza until I told you to. I mean okay. Yeah. Before we get started, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and click that little bell so you get notifications, because you know YouTube's really finicky with that now, so please just click the notification bell and hope to God that it works. And yeah. my channel, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Haley Jordan 12, I'm here too. Really, the only reason I decided to do this video is because this pepper was going bad and I needed <laughs> to use it. <laughs> this is gonna be also a grain-free pizza for anybody who's grain-free. Um, I try to be sometimes in the evening. And we're gonna start by preheating the oven to, I do mine on 400, what do you do? Yeah. 400? This is your show, I'm just watching it. Uh, let's start cutting the veggies, that's the most important thing, but before I do that, I'm gonna wash my hands with Beautiful Day by Bath & Body, not sponsored, but if you wanna send me stuff, please do. Uh, we literally stocked up, I have like 20 Bath & Body soaps because of this. <gasps> because of this. <gasps> wow, did you really just do that? Did you really just do that? My favorite part about the whole, I think, trip to Italy was the food, for sure. Same. Because you could just, we, you could go anywhere and just get good food. We, it was, and that was really more in Paris because we were like at, kind of off the grid in Italy. Yeah. Um, so we I- We mean, ate really well in Italy. Yeah, but you cooked. Oh, yeah. So like, we didn't get much authentic food, oh. but- <laughs> Literally every single place we went, we're like, wow. And Which, it's affordable. Like the, like you don't have to pay. Like you don't have to go to a fancy restaurant to get good right. food. Besides the food, like what was like your favorite like event in Italy? The reception. I didn't expect there to be as much dancing as there was. But like, I, and if you watch the special, they didn't show it. But like that party went on to like 5 a.m. So you have a cookbook coming out in the fall, correct? Is that still happening? You're all smile. And how's this gonna be different than your? Wait, hold on. but you're not down. <laughs> How is this different than the vegan AF cookbook? So the vegan AF cookbook, I wanted it to be more like really like simplistic meals, like no real common theme other than like simplicity. Mm -hmm. And for this next cookbook, I want it to be simple, but I want it to be more like fall slash holiday inspired recipes, like comfort food, like Ooh. things that you would want to eat like in the fall and winter. You make a really good pumpkin chili. Are you gonna put your pumpkin chili in there? I've never made pumpkin chili. Yeah, I love the reception, I really did. I really had a lot of fun at the welcome party towards the end, like when we were the last people. We really got to like talk and like hang out and take shots. <laughs> really and the cool. Bachelor Bachelorette party. That was really fun too. That was really, it was. Ugh. I definitely talked to more people at the welcome party though. I did too. The Bachelor Bachelorette party was like, we were still, was I mean, first event it was our first too. event and like, obviously we're very like, we don't even deserve to be here. Like, <laughs> like why are we Like why room? are we here? But like, everyone's so cool and like, <laughs> it was just like a genuine like family get together like from all sides. Everyone was just happy to be Everyone's in the same room. Everyone's so happy. And like I didn't understand that because <laughs> that wouldn't happen with my family. Right. I would have to have two weddings. Well, your mom and dad have been talking recently. That's. <laughs> I mean, this besides the point. Yeah. I'm just saying. My uh, parents didn't really. Speak much unless it was in a courtroom throughout my <laughs> all of my high school years and college years, but they've actually been speaking more lately, which is probably something I should talk about in therapy and not in this video. <laughs> but at this point, it might be harder for you now to do that. 
No, I'm in, I'm in, not in a good mood. I cannot imagine your mom, your aunt, your grandma. Can you imagine those three? Just those three None of my family room. gets along. I'm literally like, Are I'm the only one that gets along with everyone. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 not doing that here. The fact that you would have that like at your discrepancy is terrifying for me. Weddings are so strange for me. Like, it's just, I think that they're beautiful and every single time I go to one, I like find myself like crying. But for some reason, like it just, not saying that I wouldn't ever get married. It's just like the idea of like standing in front of like so many people and being like, I love you. That's, no, that, I don't like that. <laughs> that like scares the f out of me. Like. Yeah, I mean, it was weird. I had Cameron like next to me through the wedding. Yeah, you pulled my hand too. <laughs> they said grab the person's hand next to you and I knew Haley was alone. <laughs> So I gave her a pity grab. <laughs> On TV it looks perfect, and you know how like TV's a whole other thing because they right. make it look perfect. Right. But it actually was perfect. It really was perfect. So that's why it was just like, whoa, like how can I ever have this much like love and affection for someone? Their love is so real. It it's, makes me sick how real it is. But definitely something like I aspire to, like definitely a role model. So for the tortillas, <laughs> we're using Siete tortillas, which are my absolute favorite because they're grain free and they taste so good. So I put like some oil on the tortilla or whatever, and I'm gonna use two tortillas because so they're kind of thin, and I'm just gonna sprinkle some vegan cheese in between so that the tortillas stick I together. I want to use this. I want to use this. <laughs> this is the, um, Miyoko's um, vegan cheese wheel, the sun-dried tomato garlic one, and let me tell you, this is some of the best vegan cheese I've ever had in my entire life. So for the potatoes, I like to season them beforehand just so every little potato has some love. So I have some basil, some pepper, and some seasoned salt. And then also I'm using some of this garlic to mix it in with the potatoes. Just a little pinch. I'll mix it all together with my hands. Press that on. Ooh, actually that probably worked better. Yeah. So much Someone pain. commented on her video, cause she ate mozzarella in Italy, cause like, why wouldn't you? Right. And someone's like, you're not a real vegan. Let's backtrack and just like, think about how far I've come. From eating steak <laughs> at Applebee's? <laughs> like y'all only have seen this part of me, but before, Literally, my favorite food was a mozzarella stick. <laughs> I mean, it still is. It still is, but obviously I don't eat that like ever. So I had one in Italy and like Paris. I feel like food is such an important part of culture. I am a lover of all food. Like I've loved cooking like since I can remember, and so it's like to not take part of culture. I never remember you like that. Like what? I feel like I was surprised when, also I'm putting on just a little bit of sauce to mix around. Actually, that's probably way too much. What do you mean you're surprised? I don't think I ever knew that you cooked. Yeah, I did. Like, you made food for me one time in college and I was like very shocked. Like, you <laughs> woke up, we were drinking the night before, like drunk, woke up super hungover and she's like, I made you an omelet. <laughs> and I'm like, what? So you can just crunch up this little kale, sprinkle it over the top, ooh. It's like we're back in Italy. So Caleb got me into watching How to Get Away with Murder. Ooh, and it's... I was gonna, you know what? I almost made that a talking point. <laughs> you did. I literally am obsessed with it, guys. I've watched two and a half seasons in a matter of like three and a half days. That show, Scandal no and Grey's, is just anything Shonda touches. Because all I've been doing for the past two days is watching Grey's. I've watched- And I've only been watching How to Get Away with Murder. Yeah, I watched 12 to 15 episodes in the past two days. But if you look right now, you'll see that Cameron is actively still watching Netflix. <laughs> you can't stop. So somewhere during this video- Put the knife down. Things got, well, lost. things got lost digitally. But we have the pizza. We have the cheese in between the two layers of tortillas. We have the pasta sauce. And then we have kale, and then more cheese, and then we have peppers and onions, and potatoes that are seasoned, and they have chicken, and I have more cheese, more vegan cheese, and it's seasoned with oregano, and basil, and seasoned salt, and pepper, and garlic. And we're gonna pop it in the oven at 400 for probably like half hour. No, it's gonna take about 40 minutes, so we're gonna do 20, Stick a little spatula under it, make sure it's loosey-goosey. 
Let's take it back in for another 20 and then eat it. That's gonna take about 40 minutes to get it nice and <laughs> so I think I'm drunk. <laughs> Do we have any appetizers? Yes, <laughs> this, this right here. <laughs> oh, those ones in the oven, wait. <laughs> Wait, we have a no, close up. Here's a close up. These you can't even tell what that is. Do this is one. the pizza. <laughs> um, yeah, so be careful, but yeah, it should look like this. You pop it in. And now it's time to cook. <laughs> no, it's time to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Silly song with Larry. <laughs> Alright, go ahead, pop her in. We're using the you want the middle rack. Yeah, well and no, the top rack. Well they're gonna cook differently, Kayla. They're gonna cook differently, Kayla. <laughs> Is she though? <laughs> oh my god. What? I wasn't recording the whole time. This is the pizza. These are the ones with chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to put some ranch on it. <laughs> That's what I do. I put some just ranch on it. Or follow your heart, vegan ranch is honestly better. And then you can just cut it up into little pieces. Pieces like pizza. So this is literally how we've been making pizza like for like a solid couple months because Siete sent us all these tortillas. Yep. And we were like, how are we gonna use these? And one day I just kind of like put like some stuff on it, made it a pizza, and then Caleb had an idea to make them like double layered. We eat it all literally, the time. Literally, it's my favorite meal to make, and like you don't have to feel bad about it. No, I don't feel bad about it at all. It looks like um, Pizza King pizza. Yeah, it does. And comment down below if you know what Pizza King pizza is. That's my favorite. That's my favorite pizza. Dress mine up with some just ranch. Same Z's. Cam. Cameron. You gonna come out here and try the pizza? Yeah. Cameron, <laughs> please, I can't. I'm almost running out of scraps to eat. <laughs> All right. Bon appetit. <laughs> All right, well, that's the end of this video. Oh, please, just make sure you subscribe <laughs> and like it. Then comment. That's the biggest thing. It's just your engagement. We really appreciate it. Go ahead, cookbook. Buy the ones out right now to prep yourself for the next one. Link down below, maybe. I'm such a dick. <laughs> if you like this video, leave a comment, let us know what you think, and also give us suggestions on maybe something else you'd like us to make. If you maybe if you want another cooking in the kitchen with Caleb segment, if you think I should do it alone because Haley annoys you. <laughs> Alright, bye. <laughs> Whoa, you look so different. You. Whoa, so sorry you guys had to see that. You're a dick. Oh! Oh my god! Juice, did you like it? You were so good, you just kept quiet. <laughs>